First day was crazy. It was insane because you arrive on the train, you don't know anyone, you're in your um, smart civilian clothing, your shoes that are rubbing already as soon as you walk through the gate and you've got to carry all your stuff up to the accommodation and then you've got so much to do, you've got so much to collect from the stores to then take back to the accommodation. Uh, the training's really good uh, and it is, it is progressive so you get here, you're taught how to shower, you're taught how to shave, you're taught how to iron um, and then you know a few weeks later they're teaching you how to use a weapon system. Right from the start of training you will learn how to use a rifle. This involves learning how to keep it clean and working properly. You'll learn basic drills and you'll practice firing on the rifle range. This then stands you in good stead for when you go in the field on future exercises when you still have to use your rifle and maintain it in difficult conditions. Exercises are progressive, so from your first exercise you're taught uh, very basic skills on how to maintain yourself in the field. The wet and dry routine um, is basic soldiering uh, because if you get wet you can't get into your sleeping bag wet, you have to get back into your dry clothes and then if you're going to leave your sleeping bag at any point in the night you need to get back into your wet clothes um, to conserve your dry kit. So IMF stands for Initial Military Fitness, it happens early on in your training and it's a mixture of doing different physical movements to the command by the PTI, it's uh, the physical training instructor that you'll have sometimes two or three times a week. Um, you do loads of different activities, sometimes sprinting or doing just general movements that help you sort of work all the muscles sort of around your body. So right from the start of training, um, you'll learn basic military drill. This involves halting, turning, marching in time and other commands and movements. Um, and this prepares us well for when we go to the School of Music in our next phase of training and learning to march with our instruments. So during your training um, you will have frequent rounds and locker inspections so the corporals and well, the training team will come around to your accommodation, check your rooms, check your lockers, just make sure that you're keeping all of your kit in good condition, check your dusting and your mopping skills as well. This also happens in the field, you'll get kit, kit musters in the field and you have to lay all your kit on the ground um, for them to check that you can still maintain your kit whilst you're in the field. If you ever seem that you're lacking behind, there's, you always can go to them at the office. You know that you can approach them, they're really approachable. You just have to make sure you put 100% effort into everything. Things that I've really enjoyed about training so far um, is, well, as much as the physical side being quite hard, it's quite challenging as well and that's sort of what makes it fun in a way that you're all getting through it together. I felt really proud of myself at times and that is great, like the mm. achievements that we've all made yeah. and I'm so proud of everyone else as well. After week three you know you get these people that you've only just met kind of thing and you're all super close already. During training we got to try bottom field. Bottom field is a obstacle course that the commandos do when they go through their mainstream training. Um, it's a big, it's all big obstacle course, um, which includes monkey bars, climbing um, big ladders, um, climbing over big walls. One of the commando tests is the endurance course, and as part of our training, we got to try it. It involves a two-mile run around Woodby Common. Uh, it's an assault course, and then it involves a, a run back to camp. But to tailor it more to our secretary role, we had to run back uh, with a, a stretcher. I'm looking forward to the stretcher. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the stretcher. I think it'll be, yeah, very challenging, but I think it'll be good. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to that. It would just be a good challenge just to do something a little bit different as well. So CBRN stands for Chemical, Biological, Radiological and Nuclear Training. And this involves us learning how to wear a respirator and a full CBRN suit and how to carry out general tasks with this. This is all to prepare us for our secondary role within the band service. Uh, part of being in the field uh, is navigating the area you're in, using a map and compass, making a route, making a route card, setting your bearings. Sentry is a necessary duty in the field because you don't know what's out there. Um, you could be in enemy territory, so there needs to be um, at least three people protecting the troop at any one time. We also learn a lot about camouflage and concealment in the field. Uh, when you're on tactical exercises, you're in enemy territory, it's important that you can stay hidden. So we learn how to um, cam cream our face, 
uh, camar webbing uh, with different bits of foliage, um, ferns and stuff. Our first tactical exercise included us doing vehicle checkpoints, so it was a case of checking different vehicles if they had weapons and permits to go into certain areas. We've had lessons on using radios in our signals training. Um, what that's meant is when we've gone into our tactical exercises, we've been able to communicate in small groups um, and sort of give enemy positions while not having to scream them out loud. Injuries, gunshot wounds to the upper left leg. Going on the look at life, um, course prayer prepared me really well being able to meet some of the instructors that were going to train me at the school um, and actually just being able to go around the school itself and see what's there. I did have quite a lot of questions before I joined up but I was part of the um, Facebook group which was really helpful actually and um, there's a corporal on there and you could ask her loads of questions. That was a great group to be in. It just feels like a massive achievement, doesn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. To come here 13 weeks ago, 14 weeks ago, and now actually... Here we are. Yeah, we're, we're here, we've finished. We've learned so much. We've learned a lot. We I think we're all things. looking forward to having a break over Christmas. Well, well-deserved break. <laughs> Sleeping a lot, eating a lot, seeing family, and then we'll all get to go and play some music at the school.